Yo, what is up? 9.22 is up, coming upon us in a couple of days. You're going to see uh, these guys rolling around in the battlefield. The 705A Tier 10, the new line of super heavies, or I would say just a regular heavy, I guess, uh, being introduced into the game, starting from the ISM Tier 8, the 705, and the Tier 10 705A. Now, I've been struggling to get a good game out of this tank and sim, and you'll see why. This thing has an incredible 17.36 seconds reload. I've got my uh, 4 skill or 5 skill IS-7 crew in here and uh, with some rammer and food, I can get it down to 14 seconds of reload. But that's still 14 seconds too long and uh, 14 seconds with 650 alpha damage for me it's just uh, a little bit too slow of a reload it is a totally situational kind of um, play style that you're going to encounter with the 705A you hardly can be alone on this tank covering a flank without any kind of support uh, if you have two or three guys uh, in front of you they are going to rush you and finish you off fairly quickly. 14 seconds to do 650 damage is just not going to cut it in uh, this meta. In the modern game of uh, World of Tanks, you're going to need something that reloads a bit quicker than this, no matter how much damage it can do per shot. Now, uh, I am a little bit fortunate here because I'm dealing with a bunch of potatoes in front of me. I am uh, completely over angling my frontal part and there's no way they're gonna pen either the top or the bottom with this kind of angles I'm not showing them my front right wheel so they cannot do any damage into it while I am doing damage 650 into them and because I have some backup uh, behind me uh, they can't uh, totally rush forward and uh, finish me off because uh, they're gonna take a lot of damage if they decide to do that and there's my first bit of, bit, first bit of uh, damage taken and uh, I need to try and help this tank destroyer here he's been covering my back all this while I need to help him out and make sure that he doesn't die because as soon as he crumbles I'm going to be in trouble as well and uh, finally they have decided they've had enough of me they're gonna rush me now I'm gonna go forward instead and uh, try to take out the T30 because there are three guys behind me. I might as well rush forward and uh, do my last bit of damage before I die. And that's 4.4k damage over here holding this corner. Again, very situational if you're in a corridor kind of situation. Perhaps this will work for you, but in regular kind of gameplay, it's gonna be very difficult for you to find uh, any kind of situation where you can perform or outperform uh, anyone else on the team. Uh, you're going to see very few people doing well in this tank. To be honest with you, I don't see many people, um, you know, having a sensational game or it's going to be very few and very far in between. In all likelihood, this is what normal games in the 705A looks like for me anyway. Well, this is on the exception, of course. I mean, not all of them end up this way, but a lot of them are really frustrating. Because of the long aim time and the long reload, every shot is uh, vital and very important for you to penetrate. But as you can see there, I shot the ground more often than I shot the tank itself, and that can be very frustrating. And by the way, this tank is 100% APCR, sorry, 100% heat. You can dream about penetrating with standard shells because the standard penetration is 256, which means by default, you are going to be shooting premium rounds. In stark comparison, of course, is the 430U, the new uh, tier 10 medium Soviet tank. This is an amazing tank. It's got the armor of like a 5A or a 113. And check out this TVP. I'm gonna bounce four shots off him. And it's gonna give me enough time to reload and 
completely finish him off. I had nothing to do over on the northern side of the flank and uh, when I saw uh, the southern side being breached I decided to come over and help and that was my first bit of damage that I did and uh, I went on to do a bit more damage here as you can see we stopped that uh, VK and that TVP from breaking through from the uh, southern side although this game is still close we're still uh, only uh, you know even right now but I see the opportunity to uh, rush forward and flank around them and there you go shooting on the move because the uh, bloom is pretty small on this tank reload time as well is under 8 second, eight or 9 seconds which is not as good as a 907 or a 140 but uh, good enough uh, because it does a lot more alpha damage I think 440 uh, 440 average damage you do on with this gun I managed to take out three guys already just on this quick run and now I'm going to sneak up on the back of the 4005 and I can finish him off uh, before he can reload and uh, take a shot at me pretty simple right I've already burned my repair kit but uh, I'm not concerned at all because I've already single-handedly uh, taken out four tanks and uh, completely tipped this game into our favor just from that uh, simple move. I didn't get the kill there, I don't know if my shot actually would have penetrated the underneath of the uh, 705A. I am playing only with standard shells. Uh, on the 430 u you can afford to do that because uh, most of uh, the tanks that you are going to be coming up against uh, you can shoot with the standard shells only on occasion uh, you're going to be needing the uh, heat shells right here I'm going to surprise this guy and do a ram kill as well just as well I am using him as cover even though I'm tracked that Fosh P cannot take any shot on me but here you're going to see me demonstrate how useful this armor is I'm gonna bounce him once and I also cannot penetrate him so I switched to the uh, heat shells reload and then I'm gonna side scrape out and see if I can shoot him I completely missed my shot I misjudged where his position was I'm completely tracked but I continue to bounce him my shells are eating up all the damage I can't pen him he can't pen me but he does pen one shot at me here and uh, probably reloading now and he's got no more shells and the game is over hope you enjoyed the video as you can see my clear choice is going to be the 430U in the 49.22 patch I hope you enjoyed the video man I'll see you in the next one ciao